See if the base comes out. Let's see. So far, nothing. Man, no kidding, really nothing. I don't know. The water is kind of very muddy. This would be a good time for chatterbait. Though pink for this type of water is not bad at all. Right, we had a bite right here. Small, but it was a bite. Let's see. Right over there. Oh, hell yeah. Fish on. Small one. Yeah, small largemouth bass. Took it like it was nothing. There we go. We're not gonna take photos. It's too little of a fella. But you know, you got my sinkle right over there. Bye bye fish. Something got my bait again. Fish on. Oh hell yeah, it's a nicer one. Oof, hell yeah. Second one of the day, baby. Bigger than the last one. Still not a giant, but the Senko is doing its job today. Hell, it's a good day so far, folks. Good day so far here at the Delaware Canal. A quick tip for today, I'm fishing here the Delaware Canal. Uh, you guys saw me to land two fish over here. I ac actually missed two more, so I got four bites on the Senko. And uh, you know, I just wanted to point it out. You guys can see here the water is coming out from over there. And this place here with the green stuff on top, right? It kind of forms a slow pool, you see? I was casting my Senko right at the division of the current and the slow pool. And you know, when that happens, some fish are going to be focused on this portion here, ready to feed on whatever gets out of that rap rapid, right? So this is just tip number one for you guys. If you fish, ever fish, you know, in a situation like this, right? Make sure you fish the division of the current with the slow pool. It is usually a very good spot for most predatory species of fish, all right? Let's continue the fishing for today. Short. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish, inhaled, inhaled that hook, you see that, wow, this is a, uh, I saw it, I saw the fish coming for it, you know, <laughs> typical Senko, wacky rig style, fishing here at the Delaware Canal. Say bye bye, fish. Whoa, my dad got one. Yeah. First large mount for my dad of the day. All right, fishy inhaled it. There we go. Let's take a photo of it. All right, time to release this beautiful bass here. First one for my dad today. There he goes, beautiful. Swam away just fine. <laughs> All right, at least my dad caught a fish today. I surely hope he catches something bigger or maybe a pickerel. Uh, the technique that we'll be using for now, right, is a little bit different than the one I explained before because as you guys can see, the current here is almost non-existent. And when the current is almost non-existent and you are using a wacky rig Senko, there are three places that you want to cast. The first place, of course, is the place right in front of us, as you guys can see right here, right? Bass may be in the shallows here, right? And they may be, may be hiding under cover right around this area. The second place that you want to cast, of course, is the other side. If you can cast all the way to the other side and just let it sink slowly, your chances of, you know, catching bass increase drastically. And finally, the third one are pieces of cover in the structure, just like that, right? Lily pads pieces of stumps, wood in the middle of the creek, cast right next to it, 
uh, you know, maybe you will catch a fish. So this is the technique we've been using for now. We've been successful so far. We're gonna keep using Gary Yamamoto Wacky Rig Senkos, see what else we can catch. No kidding, man. My dad caught another bass, but this one here is the smallest one of the day so far. This <laughs> Yeah, all right, let's just give it a quick release. So there you go, a small one, but my dad caught another largemouth bass. The Senko is working. Let's keep fishing. Oh, yeah. it's fish on! Man, my dad thought he was snagged. Dude, nice. That's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. Oh, 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 oh all right, all right, all right. All right, there we go. Yeah, wow, that's a chunky one, man. He thought he was snagged. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, you go. to grow even bigger. So someone else can catch it. Don't forget folks, practice, catch photo, release. Oh, so you all right. Oh that was a nice pickerel. Nice, nice pickerel. All right, let's change. Took the hook, took the hook. <laughs> All right, let's change the hook. Fellas, the bite really died down after all those fish that we caught. And we, of course, we run out of time. So, you know, unfortunately, we gotta leave right now. We have other things to do today. This is it, you know, this is the last fishing session that I'm gonna have here with my father. He's leaving this Tuesday. By the time you see this, He's gonna be gone already, but you know, it, it was worth it, I think. We each caught like three, four fish, I believe, you know, so not bad, you know, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Tie lines and until next video. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. It's pulling drag too. 